Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Apai King Carter here. I wanted to welcome you guys to a quick video. I will be going over my attributes, my badges, everything up until now, guys. We've been grinding on this game. It is launch night when I'm shooting this, so this is literally, what, four days after getting the game, so... I've been putting in a little bit of work, man. You know, I've been having other things to do. But other than that, man, the only video game I've been playing lately is 2K. Uh, I had to put Destiny 2 down. I had to put Live 18 down. I had to put Madden 18 down. There's just so many games out here. But, you know, let's go ahead and talk about my character. Now, if you didn't know, this is a shot maker, a.k.a. Uh, shot creating playmaker aka primary is shot creating secondary is passing and ball handling that's why we call him a shot maker now this is a name that the community has given him and it's pretty dope now i know you guys are probably like bro like what's up with these dribbles like teach us what's going on here what, what's up with these dribbles now i know you guys are also like bro i didn't know you could dunk if you guys have been watching my recent videos your boy has not been flying at all man and i have zach levine's package and i just haven't been able to fly but that's a bug in 2k and i know that's some that we have to you know fix as a community but let me go over a few things in my nav so uh before we do that i'm gonna see if i can get me a, a nice little green release moving shot real quick ah couldn't get it but it's still cash let's check out my nav real quick guys now i've been taken a couple l's in my career i will say that um just to go to league stats real quick when it comes to war races um i definitely definitely am at the bottom of the list in this running um i average some good some good stuff here man I, I'm, I'm not bad in averages it's just i don't have as many fans so i need to get a bunch of 50 point games up until the voting is over to possibly get one of these spots up here man now as far as my stats i know a lot of people have been having problems with the entire whole oh man the computer is just so op i can't understand why i can't beat them if you guys check it out man i average 3.6 turnovers per game and i'm a point guard but i only average 6.8 assists which means it's hard for me to get double doubles out here without raging <laughs> all right now you guys will see i have 22 total badges which we'll go into right now uh let's check out these badges now as far as ankle breaker goes i am so close to ankle breaker hall of fame i could taste the badge that's how crazy it is right now the rest of my key badges i do have but i have a lot of work to do um some of these badges can go to hall of fame some of them can go to gold but i need to work on these badges man these badges are were really secondary to me because i just wanted to break ankles at the park early in which i have accomplished many of times if you guys check my twitter and my instagram um also my secondary badges I've been putting in a little bit of work here, man. I got that dimer maxed out, one man fast break maxed out. I have charge card maxed out. If anybody wants to know how to do charge card, you want to go to the practice facility and choose this badge to work on. The workout is real simple, guys. All you have to do is do that workout. You get a thousand points per. It takes 1000 points to uh, max out for the challenge and it takes 12 to fill a bar up and max the actual badge out for my build. So what I did was I did the team workout, I played the my career game, came back, did it again, went to the park, played three games at the park, came back to the practice facility and then finished the badge off. Corner specialist, I don't know how I got corner specialist. Okay, I do know how I got it. I got it from Pro-Am actually. Sitting in a corner, like a prostitute, like YMD would say. Just sitting there waiting for my teammates to pass it to me when I wasn't, you know, moving the ball around or running point guard. Now, defensive stopper. This is one of those badges I'm really, really proud of because it took a long time for me to get this badge in 2K17. And the fact that I have it now and the game just came out, <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Now, the rest of these badges definitely need a lot of work. Acrobat definitely needs some work. I'm working on that right now, guys. Going in, doing Euro steps. Free throw ace, I do not do this badge at the team practice facility. It is a waste of time. So if you're doing free throw ace at the practice team facility gym, stop it now. Go to the rack, full head of steam, and try to get fouled. That's the quickest way to upgrade this badge. 
quick reflexes you got to play them passing lanes man if you don't play them passing lanes what you want to do is you want to go to the gatorade training uh building and you want to go all the way in the back where they test the hand eye coordination and you get about 500 uh points per round so just keep spamming that and spamming that until you max this badge out glue hands this is for catching passes from a long distance. Um, not many people pass to me from long distances, seeing as though I'm the point guard, so I'm always staying back getting the ball. But actually having this badge, man, halfway done to silver is pretty good. Relentless Finisher is another badge that is hard for me to get because of the current situation with 2K and not being able to dunk and not being able to make a lot of layups. So I'm really, you know, harping on this, man. 2K, please fix that. That issue is crazy. Flashy Passer is a different type of badge this year, guys. Flashy Passer has to be done while scoring. You can't get Flashy Passer just by passing Flashy Passes. Your teammate has to score. And I'm all almost felt that with this badge but god darn it it is a grind break starter i know that i only have 3,000 points for this i'm not a center grabbing rebounds passing out sometimes i do get rebounds and i do kick it down but most of the time i'm just you know hanging back lob city passer another badge that's hard to get because teammates don't catch lobs teammates don't know how to dunk the ball or lay the ball up after catching it in midair sometimes the ball goes right past them lob city passer is a very hard badge for me to get post technician boy i don't know why but sometimes i do go into post in my part and i do pick on littler people than me because some people want to make their guys much faster and i just beast them sometimes so that's why i have a little bit of that up and under specialist only reason i have a little bit of this too is because i go up against a lot of big men in a paint at part and one time i just up, up under a couple people and you know i got a little bit of that uh these personality badges of are of course for me reaching level 85 which i paid for the vc you know what i'm saying now you guys will notice i have a 0.2 progress to my next overall level increase which is 89 now as for being a playmaking shot creator i wanted to let you guys know that i actually have some attributes to update for you guys yes man um i didn't know that this was going to happen in this type of style or form or fashion but i do have an upgrade for my layups my speed and my acceleration in which i'll upgrade today now i'm going to go ahead and spend that right there let's see how much speed costs 3500 and acceleration only costs 1500 i'm going to go ahead and check out right now i got plenty of vc guys and now my dude is upgraded. Hopefully he can make a few more layups. I'm, I'm pretty sure he won't because a lot of people are having this problem. But as far as speed and acceleration goes, I'm almost maxed out on speed. Acceleration, I am maxed out. So I have nothing to worry about there, but I do have to be faster with the ball. But I will tell you guys, being faster with the ball has nothing to do with my current dribbling situation my dribbles for me personally are very 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 good man i have a lot of fun with these dribbles and for some reason i cannot grab a basketball that might be a glitch of up there we go all right so now as far as my dribbles go my dribbles are very basic a lot of people might think that my dribbles are like od crazy like my my dribble's not crazy at all guys like i have a lot of basic dribbles I only have like a couple uh move sets that help me be a little bit better at dribbling and getting past a defender like some people would say oh well why don't you have the dribble guy base in and why don't you have that i don't really need it too much i mean seeing as though i could speed boost a lot and man i can tell you guys right now man that momentum dribble bro that momentum dribble catches people in my career so bad man like i don't even have to do it half the time sometimes what i'll do is i'll do a little cross like that and then spin back that way oh my god bro when i do that and i throw the behind the back and go the other way their ankles get broken instantly and that's what ankle breaker gold guys like i'm just saying it, it's it's insane man now uh let me show you guys my dribbles because a lot of people probably been waiting to this part of the video trying to figure out what i have as my dribble so let's go in check it out and see if there's anything you guys would like to check out or even equip now 
things equip animations is where you equip everything signature animations where you purchase everything we're going to go ahead and go to gameplay moves and go to my dribble moves now my moving cross is pro six very very nice I'm gonna repeat, nice crossover because it creates a heck of a lot of separation, guys. You might not think it creates separation here, but I'll show you this dribble move once we back out. My moving behind the back is the old Steph Curry behind the back from last year that everybody tried to cheese a little bit. Once they patched the uh, joint where you jump a little bit, that joint is hella cheese. I hope it's still in the game. Now my moving spin, my moving spin could be much better, but I barely spin on 2K because I'm scared of the repercussions. So I really never really spin anyway, so it don't matter. Moving hesitation, normal one will always be the best hesitation now i don't have tier three dribbling yet because i'm not 90 overall yet but normal one for me is perfect rhythm dribble alan iverson gets the speed boosting ready bro i mean i'm gonna I'm show you guys a speed boost and y'all gonna be like god darn it i need ai rhythm dribble now size up packages i'm just gonna put it to you guys like this everything is normal one for the rest of this video everything else is normal one guys i had alan iverson before i've had all kinds of john wall crossover combos stephen curry hesitation combos i even had the pro two size up package i had so many different things where a lot of people can speed boost and stuff like that and people just you know they like yo why don't you throw them moves on because those moves get me so many turnovers guys when i'm playing up against the computer the computer know what i'm about to do every time i'm about to do something and i just can't chance keep on with the keeping on of having these insane dribble moves and every time a defender comes up to double team me i give the ball up or whenever i do like a behind the back and the defender presses like l2 or something like that and i turn the ball over oh man i, I can't take it I, I literally cannot take it. I I will pull my hair out if I had any. Let's put it like that, man. But uh, let me show you guys the AI rhythm dribble speed boost. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and shoot around real quick. Now, I'm going to come all the way up here, guys, and just show you guys. Now, you can do this from any hand, right? I'm currently holding R2. Now, when I throw the right stick forward, you've seen that, right? He does uh, two little dribbles. But if I do that and then try to move, I'll speed boost, right? Now, I can do the same thing like that, and then, and I'm going. You know, now it works without it as well. You can throw the stick forward. Now, you've seen that dribble, right? That, yo, I'm telling you guys, that AI is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I can just take off. I can bring it back. I can do a lot of stuff with this, man. Throw it behind the back. Going for layup. It's, it's a lot that I can do with it. Now, uh, the in a general sense, People won't say, oh, that ain't speed boosting, but I'm telling you guys right now, if you have seen this in game, me doing that move and trying to get past a person, like it's over. You see that? That's the one. That's it right there, guys. Like I'm telling y'all, that's the one. Let me try it again real quick. Nah, he gonna do his rhythm dribble. Let me move over this hand. That's the one, man. I'm telling you guys, bro. I'm t Listen, I would never stray you guys away from the truth, bro. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> yo, yo, I'm telling y'all, man. You just gotta, you just gotta know when to time it. Like, the the time of it is crazy. Look at it, look at it. Just, just a, a random rhythm dribble, just in the mix. Now he don't do it on his right hand as well, but I don't know why. But hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, man. Um, I hope there is nothing that you guys should ask me for the next week by the time the next week comes all my badges should be maxed out um i should be at least a 92 overall i'm 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 i'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to try to push for 92 in a week we gonna see though man i got a lot to work on and but so far man the only thing that's wrong with my player is the fact that he can't hit layups and that's only due to 2k and whatever they got going on but i hope you guys enjoyed this video man i'm gonna highlight you guys in the next one Peace.